Mirsan, konnichiwa, Zamora Angel Desk. In this video, let us start with uh, part three, module 10, which is uh, an important, one of the important topic of NEPA 101, the life safety code. This is your uh, professor, Dr. Ray Pizantua. I'm a civil engineer, electrical engineer, industrial engineer, mechanical engineer, production engineer in Japan, an alumni of Polytechnic University, Japan, as Japan government scholar. Let us uh, start with the objective of the code. Means of distress is the topic for part three. And the objective is that life safety code addresses specific requirements to minimize danger to life from fire. That uh, have smoke, heat, and toxic gases as a byproduct. And also providing mission continuity and property protection in both new construction and existing buildings. So we have uh, three subtopics, three modules in uh, part three. We are now going to discuss and start discussion on number 10. Occupancy loads and number of exits. So we will find out, compute, and design occupancy. We will uh, determine the number of exits that are required and we'll determine how many uh, occupancy loads are required and uh, if our design would meet the uh, requirement of this code. So those are the things that uh, we need to understand in this uh, module, wherein there are uh, four subtopics about occupant load, number of exit, stair corridor, and door width, even the computation of width we will talk about in this uh, uh, module that is on subtopic number three. Also, the arrangement of exit that will provide us an idea uh, for our uh, civil engineering building design. Okay, so let us do the uh, number one subtopic occupant load. What do we mean by occupant load? Capacity of means of egress for any floor, balcony, tire, or other occupied spaces. Okay, so occupant load simply means the allowable capacity, okay? So shall be determined by dividing the floor area by the occupant load factor assigned to that occupancy application, okay? And uh, if we say uh, floor area, we always mean, almost always mean gross floor area, okay? unless it is specifically uh, stated otherwise. No? So we will uh, always uh, use gross floor area if we are talking about the word floor area in this code, okay? in this code. So NAP 101, we have what? Formula for determination of occupant load or OL, occupant load is equal to gross floor area divided by occupant load factor. So occupant load factor depends upon the type of uh, purpose of the of the area of the space. What we know as occupancy uh, type. So again, uh, we have a picture on the screen showing capacity of exit stairs serving multiple floors. So in this uh, picture, we have how many floors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine uh, floors. So this is a nine-story building. So the numbers here, 900, 400, 300, these are the occupant load design per floor. Okay, so these are the occupants of the floor. 
Two lot is the second floor has the highest occupant load. So 900. Okay. What about this number? These numbers are egress capacity for each stair. So this uh, building has two exit per floor. So one on the right side and one on the left side. There are numbers and these numbers are equal because they are uh, what uh, symmetrical, same uh, size and same uh, situation. So per floors, 150, 150 here, 200, 200 here, because what? 300 going to stair down, 150 will become 150. 400 going to downward stairs, 200 and 200. 400, another 200, 200, 400, another 200, 200, 500. Therefore, we have to go down to the stairs, 250, 250. So 300, we will have 250, 250. Why? Why we have that? Okay. Instead of 150, 150. Because we already have higher value on the upper floor. Okay, we have also the higher value in the proper upper floor, which is 250. So the lower floors here will also have that same 250 because of this. Okay, not 150. Supposed to be 150 here, it's supposed to be 150 here, but it will just be the same with 250, 250, because the upper plot already has 500 persons here. Okay, so 250, 250. Also here supposed to be 400. That means supposed to be this is 200, and the other side also 200. But because of this amount, we also have 250. So for the this floor, this floor, and this floor, this three will have 250. And next, 900. This means we have 450, 450. Why it is 300? Because there are three exit. One, two, and three. So from second floor up to the ninth floor, only two exit. But on the ground floor, there are three exit. One, two, and three. That's why 300, 300, 300. That means 900. All right. That is how we count the occupant load. So occupant's load where they exit, serve more than one floor, only the occupant load of each floor considered individually. You have to consider each floor individually, meaning one by one. Okay? Let us consider each floor one by one. Do not add uh, for this one, for this uh, exit, do not add 300 and 400. We only consider one floor. Here, in this floor, do not add 500 and 300. It will become 800. Do not add. Only consider one. And you have to consider 500 because that is higher than 300. Okay? So that is how we do this uh, capacity determination of uh, exit. So the capacity of the exit here is like this. 150, 200, 200, 200, 250, 250, 250, and 300. So you have to design. As a civil engineer, you have to design the building. You have to design the door opening that would be able to carry out 300 persons here at the ground floor, 250 persons here at the second floor, 250 persons here on the third floor and fourth floor, and 200 persons here, fifth floor, sixth floor, seventh floor, and 150 persons here on the eighth floor. Okay, so you have to design the size of the of the door of the opening. So expect these size are not the same. 